Andrew, new information on the investigation into by the battery mayor Stan Wright. An attorney for Wright says he will plead not guilty to the seven count indictment. That story is first at four. Count federal indictment charges by the battery mayor Stan Wright did knowingly and willfully take part in a conspiracy to defraud the U.S. government, stole federal funds, laundered money, and then retaliated against a person who provided law enforcement with such information. It all centers around this tract of land in Myla Battery's Safe Harbor Estates. <laughs> Mayor Wright cut the ribbon on the community back in 2008. It was built for Hurricane Katrina victims who lost their homes. The indictment accuses the mayor of being involved in a scheme to get money from the federally funded subdivision by selling a piece of his personal property to the city. The indictment also says the alleged cover-up involved the mayor's daughter. The indictment says Wright gave his daughter a piece of property, then signed off on the city of Byla Battery to buy it from her. And then she, in turn, wrote Mayor Wright four checks, totaling $27,300. If true, it's conduct unbecoming of a public servant. A public servant who told me earlier this year he holds public servants to a high standard. Mayor Wright said this after he got wind of a problem at the Byla Battery police station with missing drug money. The mayor would never say how much money. We do know this. The mayor is accused of stealing more than pocket change. The feds say it was more than $27,000. Wright will appear in federal court for an arraignment later this month. We also called the city of Byla Battery attorney Jay Ross for a status update on exactly who's in charge, but our call was not returned. The entire indictment is on our website, fox10tv.com.